I love this movie. I'm such a big horror movie fan. So I immediately oh. needed to see it. Um, awesome. And you know, there's just, there's so many different genres out there. So many different types of horror movies. I love to know what kind of stuck out to you about this one. What made you want to do Alone at Night? Well, I mean, for the obvious reasons, it was the middle of the uh, the pandemic. And the movie is, you know, kind of uh, focused on that era, uh, even though I'm not even sure we've yet escaped the pandemic. But uh, while it was happening, um, uh, my buddy, Jimmy Giannopoulos, the writer, director, producer, called me up and said, hey, we're shooting a, a really cool uh, kind of classic style slasher film in, in Big Bear, California. And um, I said, sign me up, man. Let's do it. So were you guys, were you guys quarantined during the filming of this? Because this was during COVID that you actually filmed it. Oh, yeah. I was in the middle, middle of it. Um, we were one of the very few productions that got to film uh, during that time. Um, and it was, uh, it was pretty intense. I mean, we, I had to quarantine the day I arrived in LA, I had to quarantine in the hotel room for three days, get tested every single day throughout the entire, uh, production. And then, you know, we were highly advised to not kind of go out and have fun in public. Uh, not that there was even much open at that time. So we were all kind of just huddled in a cabin up in the, in the mountains in Big Bear. And I think that kind of added to, um, you know, how much fun it actually was because we just got to focus on being with each other and enjoying each other's company and working together. Yeah, well, since, um, I mean, did you have any, did you like cross paths with, with anyone from like the reality side of the <laughs> film? Because, I mean, they're two completely different kind of storylines, but they I didn't are. Know. <laughs> No, no, I didn't get to be a part of that. They shot that before and after all of the, the mountain range uh scenes that we did uh so i just flew in for that and flew out but i i did hear that it was a lot of fun shooting with that whole crew well i would love to know what it was like to get into the headspace of someone like max <laughs> quite an interesting character <laughs> it's definitely an interesting character there's no no doubt about that um you know, fortunately, when I spoke to Jimmy on the phone about the project and about the character, you know, he he was like, hey man, hey, man, I just want him to be like you. You know, I don't really want anyone to understand truly who this person is until uh, the right moment. And, um, you know, so that that element of it was easy. And then, you know, the kind of other side of the spectrum, um, getting in the headspace of that guy, Ah, oh, man. I mean, I feel like we all have some level of experience of all the different types of people on the internet. Um, and I think he's a very specific type of person, to say the least. Um, but I, I, it wasn't like it was an unfamiliar territory, also seeing as I've, I've done other horror movies before and I've played some pretty strange people. So um, I've, I've found it relatively... Uh, easy enough to slip in and out of of those two personalities. Well, I hope yeah. that doesn't sound scary. <laughs> no, no, no. I was I was going to ask you about that because I mean he <clears throat> does have Max himself as kind of also playing a character. So what yeah. is it like, you know, to act as someone who is acting for the majority of the I, movie? That's a very good point. Um, I, I think it actually just made it a lot more fun. I mean, as an actor, that's kind of like an extra layer of, of, uh, of juiciness, you know, that you get to play around with. Um, it, it is interesting being uh, naturally someone, I'll say, as sadistic as Max is, and then have to put on an air of, of you know, normality to some extent. And... Um, I think that just made it more fun. It was just, there was, it was a, a nice little uh, onion to peel throughout the, uh, for, throughout the filming process. Well, you said that you had a phone call before, but how much did you actually know about him before you read the script? Like, were you, were you finding, could you kind of see the reveal as you read it or did you already, did you know going in? I, I was primed. I was primed okay. before, okay. <laughs> before, I, <laughs> before, I, because the f funny enough was that they actually, they had someone else to play that part, but he actually got COVID a couple of days before shooting. And uh, as I said before, Jimmy called me up and said, hey man, I'm, I, I need you out here. Can you get out on a plane tomorrow at five in the morning? And I was like, whoa, man, well, I got to read the script. And he said, well, this is the part, this is the character. Yeah, I think you're really going to love it. And uh, emailed it to me right then and there. I sat down immediately and read it. And I was like, 
this is really fun, man. I, I really like this character and I like the, uh, the story. And um, I jumped on a plane at 5 a.m. the next day and flew out there. Well, so this was like a last minute oh, casting yeah. thing. Very, oh little, very little preparation, <laughs> preparation time for this, for this one. But sometimes that's, that works in, in your benefit. Well, did you guys go right into shooting then? Like right when you got there? Yeah, uh, started shooting three days after I arrived. I mean, I'm really curious as someone who's who's not an actor, like how was preparing for that in three days? Like you, you can't, you, you really you can't <laughs> you can't prepare. I mean, I, I the best you can do is read the script as many times as you possibly can, uh, just to become familiar with the kind of um, peaks and valleys of everything. Um, but but other than that, you just got to be loose and and have fun. And you know, fortunately, I've I've had uh, decades of experience in in this industry as an actor. And I think the more you do anything in life, the better or easier it gets. Let's say. And um, you know, I, that's all. I, there really, yeah, there wasn't a whole lot of preparation time, so you just kind of got to jump in and dance. Well, how was working with Ashley Benson? Because you share most of your scenes with her. I, mean, I do. Yeah. yeah. Uh, I love Ashley. She she and I were friends before shooting this film. Um, so it was a very easy, you know, oh, Ashley's playing the other part of heck yeah, sign me up, man. I get to go hang out with my buddy. Um, so that was really fun because we already knew each other and we'd spent time hanging out. And, um, and so that made it a lot more exciting to, to be a part of this. I think she did a fantastic job. She's such a, a talented actor. And um and a great person all around. So I, I was lucky to be able to, to do this one with her. And, um, and then a couple of other friends that I've had. I mean, you've been, when you're in the business for a long time, you tend to uh, know a lot of people and, ha- and get to socialize with those people. And then you occasionally get cast in movies with them. And that just is uh, the cherry on top. Well, what about the, the kind of action fighty scenes we're seeing at the end? There's a lot going on there. What all went into creating that? Um, it, that was that was a lot of fun. So um, Jake Weary, I, I think that guy is just brilliant. I, I love that guy. He's, he's truly a one of a kind gentleman. And um, it was so much fun shooting with him. Those scenes were tough. I mean, a you, you, it's uh, night shoots, right? So you're you're exhausted. You're shooting from sundown to sun up. Uh, it was freezing cold up there, um, and it was a very tight house. The the cabin we were shooting in wasn't, you know, a, a fabricated set. It was an actual cabin we were shooting in. So that always adds to some type of restrictions or limitations when you're shooting, uh, just because of the confined space and how many crew members and actors need to be in that room at one at any given point. Um, they had some really great stunt coordinators who I thought were fantastic. Um, and, and, uh, this is, you know, no disrespect to them because I think they did a, an incredible job coordinating a fight scene, but the fight scene that they had, uh, kind of built for it was almost like, uh, like John wick or, or the matrix. It was like so good. And we're, we're going, wait, I don't like, are we trained like MMA fighters? Uh, how does, how does that work? Shouldn't it be a little bit more scrappy and, and messy? Cause we don't really know what we're doing. And it's, it's uh, all emotion and, and very little technique, you know, it's just sledgehammers back at each other for a lack of a better term. So the, the uh, stunt coordinators were gracious enough to kind of work with Jake and I for about an hour or two, before the scene to kind of dial in the the realistic nature of how scrappy a fight like that would be. So that was really cool being able to work with them because they were so um, open-minded to, to making changes, uh, which we did last minute. And we made it a lot more like, you know, uh, well, Jake, if I hit you like this, what would you do? Well, I'd probably hit you like that. And you're like, okay, so I'd probably double over this way. And then I'd knee you in the face. <laughs> so it was, it was kind of fun. We were just kind of building it as we went. And then we, we uh, rehearsed it a couple more times and then uh, shot it about, I don't know, five or six times. And boy, let me tell you, both of us were, were bruised and sweaty and exhausted after shooting that scene. It was, it was tiring. <laughs> But it was so a that, lot of fun. That was all you guys then? That was you no know, stuff. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. That at that particular fight scene um, in the woods and in the cabin was it was all Jake and I. Jason, that's so awesome. Yeah, I was gonna yeah. say there it, there wouldn't really be a way to hide it anyway. I was trying to think back on it. 
And yeah, no, the it, others, you guys. <laughs> it, it was it was funny. And then, you know, there's a, of course, there's a famous crowbar in this movie and, and there's a rubber crowbar and there's a real crowbar. And depending on what swing was happening, you wanted it, the, the weight of it to actually look like it was heavy. But every time we had to hit each other with it, you had to get the rubber ones. So the whole time we were like, is that the rubber one? <laughs> Better make sure that's, can I touch it? Can I make sure that's the rubber one? <laughs> It was it was funny. It was good. Awesome. Well, it looks like my time is about up. So it was so nice to chat with you about the film. Again, I really enjoyed it. You as well. Thank you for watching and thank you for chatting with me today. Thank you. Have a good one, guys. You too. Thanks. Thanks.